Hey, good morning, how are you? Back on the road again. Uh, pulled in at Lockerbie on my way back from Aberdeen. Uh, 14 days of lockdown, how much fun was that? Or 14 days of self-isolating for a test that we've got no reference number for, for another test that hasn't even happened. Four of us in the house, none of us with symptoms, but one of us with a positive test. So did all the things right, went in, well, phone my boss on the way up to Aberdeen two weeks ago. Stop, come back, stay there, carry on. Don't make your fucking mind up. We can't come back to work till she's had a negative, you've had a negative. Seven days after that, you've got to have another negative. I was going to be off till fucking January. Anyway, we're self-isolated for 14 days, no symptoms. Yes, please, we'd like to come back for work. <laughs> so here we are, back on Hydro Roll again. Um, I absolutely love that system. I really do. I did a, a, a couple of short bits that I can slot in later um, about how it works. I don't know if any of you used Hydro Roll. I think of all the years I've been lugging pallets up and down and dragging them off with tail lifts and pump trucks and God, all those years on Zara doing 30 odd pallets a night off the back of an Arctic into a store. It, and this, this just lift the front end up with the unit drop the back suspension on the trailer put the air in the floor and the rollers come up and everything just rolls gently to the back lift it with the forklift ease off and the next one comes down and then it, it's like having a walking floor without having a walking floor you can use it on pallets you can use it on um i've got clps on and you can do it on cdms for airlines so you know, you get the pods that have got the shape of the plane that they just roll them into the plane. And that's I think that's where Hydro Roll started so that they can move freight quickly between warehouse onto a truck, roll it off the truck onto a, a lift and into the side of the plane. And the whole planes have got rollers in the floor so you can push everything in. And it's frictionless. And so you can move really heavy weights very very easily uh, come up fully freighted eight cmps and go back with six empties and one half loaded um, and it's literally 10-15 minutes to offload a full arctic uh, less than that to load it because they just back onto the dock and they just push them on um, if it's ready if it's not ready then you could like anywhere else you sit for hours i'm sure most of you have seen it but for me it was oh you know, all those years on Fisher doing multi-drop off the back of the 17-tonner. Pump trucks, pallets of chemicals. I remember doing Newcastle University in the winter. You know, moving a full pallet of solvent off the back of the truck and just onto ice. It took you 40 minutes to clear a path from the back of the truck into the stores. With salt and a shovel, we used to have to carry bags of bloody salt. So, yeah, life is a lot happier and a lot better. Really love it. But as to COVID and the track and trace, coming up through Newcastle, Metro Centre was absolutely dead. Not a car in sight. Got to Stirling, or maybe it's Dundee. Anyway, there's a big Tesco en route and you couldn't see a space in the car park. But then I think Scotland's different. But just absolutely mental. The, the roads don't feel like first lockdown did. I think there's a lot more people travelling than there should be. Gantries are back up, staying um, essential travel only. I've got to see Aunt Mabel. Why well, fucking essential is that? Anyway, not to worry. So, how are you all doing? How's your weight loss? I've started on the track back down again until we get to this week when I've no doubt put it all on again. Um, really, I'm stable as far as I'm not going much over 16.4, uh, but I'm not losing consistently, which is what I'm trying to do. But I think the clue is in the fact that I'm only trying, I'm not really getting on with it, if that makes sense. Um, to try and, and just trying something 
isn't particularly good. I think you really do need to make a determined effort and stick to the rules. And you've got to know why, and at the moment, I'm really quite happy not bothering with it, honestly. As long as I don't go over, as long as I can still wear 34 inch waist jeans, that'll do. And with all the hassle, I've been quite worried about Judy, to be honest with you. She's, um, she's got a chest infection. It's really kind of knocked her sideways, where she's not been very happy, not been very well. And, you know, talking to the paramedics when they came out to see her Tuesday, I said, you know, how, how is it out there? He said, oh, COVID is real. He said, but the, the challenge with track and trace, if you've got a snivel of a cold, it will show as a positive test, which doesn't help. But the person who they had attended directly before us, 65? Oxygen saturation of the blood was under 55. I said it's about 50%. Well, if it's under 60, apparently your cells start dying. And they said, you know, we took him into hospital, but it's unlikely he'll recover from that. And they'd had him on bottled oxygen for 70, 80 minutes when they arrived and his blood sats never improved. So even putting pure blood in there, the virus was stopping oxygen transportation around the body. And that's kind of what it does. It congests the lungs, it inhibits um, aeration. So it really is, it's a killer when you get it. Um, yeah, it's serious. But they're not helping themselves with track and trace, that's for sure. It is what it is. It's very easy to sit here and throw stones at the government. They've never seen anything like this before, have they? Anyway, Lockerbie here again. Yeehaw! See you all in the week. If not earlier than that, I'll put a bit... In. Just put your hands up if you've seen Hydro Roll or ever used it. I absolutely love it. Um, easiest, certainly the easiest work I've ever had. Um, everything's under seal, but that's because it's going airside, so... That's slightly more um, security conscious, but it doesn't truly impact on hours or route or anything like that. So but I swap and change routes every week. I never go the same way twice. Um, it's, although here we are in Lockerbie again, he says, but I'll, I don't know, maybe do 66 or M6. We'll see how, how it feels when we get there. Anyway, you guys take care. Heads up, if you need any help with your weight loss, if you need any advice or anything like that, please don't, don't be scared to mention it or get in touch. You can either email me or just PM me on here. All right, you take care. I've got to find a button here.